Hey heroes, hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Roy Cayenne, thank you so much for taking the time to check out my channel and check out my brand new video. As always, I hope you enjoy. And guys, we have something very, very special planned for today. We have a collection of vintage Pokemon cards. Alrighty guys, as you can see on screen, we have a collection of vintage Pokemon cards. Now, a little bit of background as to how I managed to get my hands on these. Basically, a few months ago, I think it was in June, I made a video uh, on a binder of vintage Pokemon cards. Uh, these included some first edition cards, some fossil cards, and the collection was absolutely incredible. And they were very, very kindly given to us by my girlfriend's dad, uh, Jack. So again, a, a big, big thank you to Jack for giving us all of these uh, vintage Pokemon cards. Now, I did mention in that video where I showed off some incredible cards, including a base set Charizard. If you haven't already, the uh, link to that video will be in the description down below. Um, we did also have a box with so, so many more vintage Pokemon cards, um, which I, I mean, I just haven't had time to open them because there's just, you know, there's just been so many new sets, so many different video ideas I've wanted to try out um, since I came back from my holiday in Cornwall. And guys, we are finally here. We are finally opening up the cards today. So if you're as excited as I am to find out exactly what vintage cards these are, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is try and organize these into piles and we are just going to go through every single card in this box here. As you can see, there are a lot of cards to get through. Um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sort these into piles, we're gonna go through them and we're gonna see what the vintage cards are, guys. Three days later. Alrighty, guys, and we begin our collection of vintage Pokemon cards. Uh, this is absolutely incredible. Um, I honestly have no idea which cards are in here. I do remember Jack mentioning that there are a handful of fake Pokemon cards in here. So if you keep a close eye on them, let me know which ones they are, uh, because honestly, I'm not very good at telling the difference, to be completely honest. Uh, but guys, I believe we are starting with this pile here. So we've got a, a trainer card. So there's probably going to be quite a few duplicates in here so we are going to just sort of try and filter them out wow that is that is a lot of switch cards um right let's let's carry it. okay maybe maybe i'm just gonna find the point at which the switch cards end uh there we go so we've got a pokemon breeder card uh we've got a scoop up card if you remember any of these cards from your childhood, let me know in the comments down below because uh, this is basically all I ever pulled from the original packs. It's just all of these trainer cards. Uh, we've got Potion, we've got Gust of Wind again, and we've got the classic OG Pokedex trainer card right there. We have a Bill, classic Bill, and we have the Professor Oak as well. Damn, these are a lot of trainer cards. Uh, we've got a Defender. I mean, I'm assuming from the amount of trainer cards we have here, we should hopefully have at least one of each trainer card from the original base set. 
Um, I mean, as, as you can see, as you can see here, there are a lot of trainer cards. So guys, our, our first, oh, okay. And we've got one energy card at the very end there. So our first pile was the trainer cards. Um, so I'm gonna try and sort these out as I go along. Uh, but as you saw from the box, there are a lot of cards in here. Uh, so guys, we are now moving on to the energy cards. Don't worry, don't worry. There, there will be other cards in here, I, I promise you. Um, but guys, while we're going through this, uh, question of the day. What is the uh, first set of Pokemon cards that you ever opened? Or I mean, at least remember opening. Um, I think for me, it was the original, um, yeah, the original base set Pokemon cards. Uh, I probably didn't have any first edition cards, I'm not going to lie, because I didn't really know what I was doing at the time as, as I was a kid and I didn't realise how incredibly valuable some of those cards would be today. And as you can see on screen, I believe these are all just, yep, yep, we just have electric energy cards in this pile, so we can move on to the next one. Um, but yeah, let me know what is the first set you remember opening. Um, might be base set, might be base set two, uh, might be the Neo Genesis era. Um, and yeah, we've got we've got a lot more energy cards there. So we're gonna sort of try and skip through those and moving on to the fire energy cards right there. Uh, so at least we're getting through the energy cards quite quickly um, because as I mentioned, there are a lot of cards to go through here. Um, so we've got all of the energy cards. I think these are pretty much all together. Um, and then we've got some of the uh, newer energy cards right there, mixed in with the water energy. I should probably have a counter to, to note how many times I've said the word energy in the past few minutes. Uh, but this is, I believe, this should be all of the energy cards. Uh, so, yep, we've got water energy right there. And now we are moving into... Oh, here we go, guys. Here we go. So, again, I'm not 100% sure which of the cards in here are the fake cards. Um, Jack did say there's only like a handful of them, so there's only a few anyway. Um, but, guys, this is a card which seems to have the signature here. Um, so, again, not 100% sure if this is one of the fake cards, uh, but it does look uh, very cool. We've got the Nidoran, the Nidorina, the Pidgeotto, again, with a signature on there. I mean, you guys probably know a lot more about the older sets than I do. I mean, to be honest, anyone probably does. I, I need to do a little bit more research. Uh, but we have the Copycat, um, we have the Marsh Stomp there, and we've got a Heal Energy. I've, I've never really seen one of those, that's very cool. Uh, we've got CDO's Network, uh, we've got a Great Ball, another Energy, a few more Energy cards here. I feel like these might be the fake Pokemon cards because they just they just don't look like regular Pokemon cards. Um, but again, I'm not 100% sure. So we're just going to sort of have a quick flick through these right here. We've got a rare candy and a few more trainer cards there. All right, guys, we are not even through the first column of cards in this box yet. It is ridiculous the amount of cards we have in here. Um, so we've got an ancient technical machine. Um, again, I, I kind of have a feeling that these might be some of the fake cards here because they just don't feel like real Pokemon cards. Or it could just be me being very silly. And that is a lot of shiny swirls on that energy card right there. Uh, we've got a Japanese uh, Pidgey card right there. Uh, oh, very cool. So that's like, uh, that was in the gym trainer set, wasn't it? So that's Sabrina's Porygon. Uh, again, Koga's uh, Pidgey. Again, not 100% sure if these are the fake cards, so you guys will just have to help me out and let me know. Uh, but again, I mean, the cards look incredible. And again, these are, you know, the, the real cards in here are, are vintage Pokemon cards. Um, I mean, this is just so cool. There's just so much nostalgia in these as well. Um, we've got the Vulpix. Again, I think I mentioned in the original video I made with the uh, binder, uh, there were two different versions of Vulpix. So one had HP 50 written on it and the other had it the other way around. So it was like 50 HP. Uh, just a fun fact to know, I guess. Uh, again, never seen that energy card in my life. So not 100% sure if that is a fake card. Um, but we're gonna go through these because they look very, very cool anyway. Um, 
we got the OG Charman right there. I don't know what it is, I just kind of love Japanese cards more. And I'm assuming these are Japanese. Um, I mean, they might they might be another language. I, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but there we go, guys. Basically a video where I'm not 100% sure of anything. Uh, right, we've gotten through that pile there. And I believe this should be the last of the first column in there. So we are making some progress, guys. We are making some progress. I'm going to try and keep this video as short as I possibly can because I know there are a lot of cards to go through and all of these cards are very, very shiny. So I'm not, I'm not sure. Again, you know, that's just going to be the common theme of this video. I don't know if they're fake or real. Just help me out, guys. Let me know if you know. Uh, we've got a Puccina. We have Team Aqua's Lantern. Very cool. Uh, we're gonna Aeron, a right horn, a couple of other training cards there. And there we go. We'll be moving on to the uh, second pile. And I am I am literally running out of room on this side of the desk. So I'm going to have to try and sort these out as we go along. And also try and awkwardly just grab a bunch of cards here because there are just so many. Uh, so I'm gonna grab that. I'm going to try and keep eye contact on the screen as well. So you guys know I'm still invested in the video. Uh, but here we go. Right, let's straighten up the camera a little bit. And here we go, guys. Now we get onto the, you know, the original, real base set cards right there. Uh, so again, you can see the illustrator, Ken Sugimori, amazing illustrator, uh, 1995. So these are the uh, base set cards right here. And while I'm going through these, I thought it might throw, you know, it might be a little bit different in this video if I just give you like some life updates, I guess, because I, I don't tend to do that a lot in my videos. Um, you know, obviously it's about the Pokemon and the Pokemon cards, um, which is great. But I guess, um, I guess I've been watching a lot of anime recently. I absolutely love anime. I've been watching it for years. Um, I've started watching Black Clover, which is uh, it's quite an old anime series. Um, but I just absolutely love anime like that, you know, full of magic and heroes. And uh, yes, yeah, so let me know if you've seen Black Clover and if, if it's worth sticking to, because I think there's there's at least 200 episodes. So, you know, I'm, I'm sort of getting there, but um, I mean, to be fair, that's a lot of diglets right there. Um, to be fair, I have stuck with anime for a very long time. So I've watched every episode of Dragon Ball, Naruto. Um, I have watched every single episode and every single movie of One Piece. Um, and for those of you that have seen One Piece, you'll know it is literally coming up to episode 1000 fairly soon. Um, so that is, yeah, I've just been watching that for years. Um, I mean, also let me know in the comments down below um, if you guys watch anime, uh, what some of your favorite anime series are. Uh, I know one of the more recent ones was uh, Demon Slayer, which was absolutely incredible. I still need to watch the movie for that because I heard that was just phenomenal. Uh, we've got a lot of the base set Pokemon cards here. So the duo, we've got the Farfetch'd. I'm trying to balance it out with showing you guys these cards and also, you know, you know, interacting with you guys because I, I don't tend to do that a lot. I tend to, you know, just focus completely on the card. So, uh, I mean, that's another thing, guys. Let me know what you want to see more of in my videos. Um, do you want to see more editing? You know, I do try my best with the editing. Um, I mean, I use Premiere Pro, but I'm, you know, I'd say I'm still an amateur. I, I kind of try and teach myself what I can, uh, when I can. Um, but I mean, if anyone knows anything that might be helpful to me using Premiere Pro, like color grading or, um, or, you know, different video transitions, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make myself sound more professional than I am. I just kind of play about with it and, and you know, see what works. Uh, we've got a Dragonair right there, one of my favorite base set cards. Um, I mean, hopefully there's a Dragonite in here somewhere. That would be epic. Uh, so obviously we do have a lot of duplicates in here, but I mean, these are base set cards, which is absolutely ridiculous in this day and age, uh, very hard to come by and very expensive when you do come by them. Um, and moving on to Zubats right here. Uh, we've got a gold bat. We've got the executor. I don't know why it just executor was one of those cards that really stood out in the uh, base set cards. And as you can see from the little logo there, I believe, 
uh, that was from the jungle set, if, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that is super duper rare. Uh, and the execute as well. Um, so I'm gonna try and pay close attention here. So we've got the pincer, the cipher, uh, the Arbok from the fossil uh, set, I believe. Um, Erica's weeping bell. Guys, now, now it's getting interesting. Uh, I mean, these cards are so rare. It's, it's just unbelievable. We have so many of them as well. Um, we got the Oddish. So we're sort of in the uh, grass section of Pokemon here. And I believe basically all of these are from either the uh, fossil or the jungle set, um, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, near around a little bit beaten up there. Um, and I mean the condition of most of these cards are actually fairly decent considering how old they are as well. Uh, so we've got multiple Tanglers there and we've got more grass type Pokemon over here. Um, I guess I've kind of covered anime because that, that's like a big part of my life. Um, Marvel as well. Uh, I think I mentioned we saw the new uh, Shang-Chi film uh, in 4D, which was just mind blowing. If you haven't seen a film in 4D, just do it. It is it is so hard to explain, but it's such a brilliant experience. It's just, yeah, I, I, I can't see a film in, in 2D anymore. It's just not the same. Um, and guys, obviously we have the brand new Pokemon games coming out. We've got um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl coming out later this year. Um, and we have Legends of Arceus coming out in January. I believe a release date has been set. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not as excited for uh, BDSP just because it's it's like a one-to-one -one remake of the originals. Um, I mean, I'm sure it would be great, but I, I mean, I think most people are, are a lot more excited for the uh, Legends of Arceus game just because it's a brand new Pokemon game. Um, it's it's kind of like Pokemon meets Final Fantasy open world. Um, I mean, if, if you don't know anything about it, just look it up, watch the trailers. Uh, it just looks absolutely incredible. Uh, so guys, let me know uh, which, which games are you excited for? Which games have you pre-ordered? Um, and that's probably like the fourth thing I've asked you to so let me know down in the comments. Just make a list in the comments, you know, just, just respond to each of my inquiries directly because I, I've just been asking you guys way too many questions. Um, and I have been rambling on for a very long time here. We've got a lot of Bulbasaur's here, um, which is actually really cool because I remember this being quite difficult for me to get in the uh, base set cards. Uh, we've got a lot of Caterpies, a, a lot, a lot of Bulbasaur's, uh, very nice. Alrighty guys, I'm doing my best, but there are just so many cards. So I think for the energy cards, we can just kind of one, two, skip a few there. Um, so that is a lot of Brock Script energy right there. Um, and some updated energy cards as well. So at least we got through that pile fairly quickly. Um, and I believe there are a few more energy cards. So it's, it's great. We've got so many duplicates, um, which is amazing. We've got a lot of psychic energies there. Uh, just gonna skip through those. And we've got a cheeky super potion at the end there. Right, uh, I am actually kind of running out of room here. So I'm gonna do my best to like balance the cards on either side of me. Uh, but I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I mean, I don't get to do vintage Pokemon cards opening a lot. I mean, obviously, aside from the original video where I showed you those incredible cards, including a base set Charles Lords and first edition cards, um, I think the closest I've got is a few uh, Evolutions packs, which I found in my loft a while back. That video uh, is probably a couple months old now. Uh, we've got a lot of trainer cards here. Uh, again, a lot of duplicates, which is great because that means we have more than one of each of these cards and they are super duper rare in this day and age. So we are coming, we are officially, officially halfway through the, uh, through the box. And I'm just struggling. I'm struggling to get my hands on all these cards because there's just so many. Uh, right, there we go. Here we go guys, so we've got a Diglett, uh, we've got a few Diglets, and moving on to the, uh, I believe this this is obviously not the base set, but I'm not sure which set this is, so again, if you know, let me know in the comments down below, just add it to your essay of answers to my multiple questions in this video. Uh, we've got a Dratini, uh, we've got the Ditto Pikachu, that is so cool, I remember that. Uh, we've got a Magnemite, Dragonair, 
Uh, very cool artwork on uh, a lot of these cards as well. So we've got a few trainer cards. Um, you know, let me put that down there so I can actually grip the cards properly while I show you. We have a, a Weedle, a Weezing, a Coughing, a Golbat, and a Zubat. And I'm running out of breath saying all the different Pokemon names, so we're just gonna skip. We have a Mew. Okay, we need to we need to pause for a second and appreciate the Mew because one of my favourite mythical Pokemon guys. Um, we've got a Bow Toy. We've got a few Bow Toys. A Core Fish. Uh, ooh, that's a very cool artwork on that Prime Ape. I like that. Uh, we've got Mankey, Nimel, Torchic, uh, and Cheeky Horsey. And a few trainer cards back here. Uh, we've got a Life Herb. I mean, there's just, look, I mean, you, you can see from my hands, I'm struggling to hold all of these cards. This is just unbelievable. Uh, ooh, we've got a Snowform cast from there. Uh, We've got a Celio. What's the Delio? The happiest looking plus all you will ever see. Uh, ooh, very nice, very nice shine on that Corsola card as well. And a Metatite. Uh, wow. Just, there's just so much to take in, guys. So much. Uh, we've got a Kyogre right there. We have a Ready Camp. I haven't seen that Pokemon in a very long time. Uh, I mean. I mean, you guys can see from on screen. I, uh, I don't think I have the the energy or, or the breath to uh, to say every single card name that we're going through because, I mean, we could be in the thousands by now, guys. Let's be honest. Uh, and a few basic cards at the back there. Alrighty, guys. I'm actually gonna have to go ahead and end the uh, vintage Pokemon card collection video there. I didn't actually realize how many cards were in there. It was absolutely ridiculous. It was leading to like a 40 minute video. So what I'm gonna do is end the video here. I'm gonna have the other half of the uh, collection shown in next week's video. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. There are still some more incredible cards to see in the collection. So make sure you stay tuned for next week's video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you have an awesome weekend and I will see you again in the next video.